I'm not depressed anymore. I don't have depressive thoughts. I go through cycles where I feel myself getting into the depression again, but I'm able to combat it and to lift myself up. It's a harsh reality, but no one's coming to save you. Like you have to do the work. You have to do what it's gonna take to get the life that you want and it really starts with what's up here what's up peeps today i'm back with another video but it's a little bit different than the videos i usually post on here so i'm a little nervous but we're gonna move past that i have a lot of video ideas in this kind of realm of spirituality and self-improvement and i just I feel like my purpose on YouTube is to really inspire people just in life not even just YouTube I feel like I go through a lot of shit and I've been through a lot of shit because I'm supposed to help people find an easier path I have to learn lessons the hard way so that I can teach people how to avoid those things in certain aspects of my life but I also feel like I've overcome a lot in my life and I'm at a point where I really love my life I wake up feeling lucky to be me ah and i'm so grateful that i i'm in this space i see a lot of people in my demographic women especially women of color um in the age range of maybe like 25 to like 30s early 30s who struggle with this feeling like they don't have a purpose or they don't have any kind of direction or they maybe feel like a victim to their circumstances and if any of those sounded like you then this video is probably for you and if you're watching this i want to inspire you to do what it takes to get to where I am in my life. And no, I don't think my life is perfect. I have such a long way to go. Um, so many other things I wanna accomplish and achieve. I'm a human, you know, I'm not like this almighty enlightened being who knows everything, but I think I have some wisdom that I can share and maybe hopefully it can help just one person watching. That's my goal. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna talk about how to change your mind and kind of reparent yourself so that you have a sense of more autonomy in your life and you feel like you're in the driver's seat rather than life happening to you you are the one who's creating the life of your dreams and so just a little backstory i kind of just want to talk about how i got to this point and then maybe you guys will be able to relate to me a little bit better i I am 28 years old now, but in 2012 I was 19, so that's, oh my gosh, almost 10 years ago. Or maybe I was 18. I think I was getting ready to turn 19, and that was the first time I ever experienced depression, like seriously. I started feeling like this impending sense of doom over my life. I didn't know why, I just always felt sad. I had really bad insomnia, I could not fall asleep. I would take like three melatonins every single night and would not sleep. And then in the day, of course, I would be exhausted, but I couldn't sleep because I had to go to class. I couldn't understand why I was just so sad because my external, life was great i have pretty much everything i could need great friends i had good parents i have good relationship with my siblings i was in school i was excelling in school i that was the first time i had gotten on the dean's list so i just didn't really understand why i didn't feel fulfilled in my life and i remember like calling my parents and like crying on the phone to them explaining this to them and them just feeling really sad for me because nobody wants their child to have those kind of feelings so then i went and talked to a doctor and i realized i was depressed and i i started journaling so i found out the reason that i was feeling these feelings of depression was because i was living my life for everyone else except for myself. I was the kid that was in like the gifted programs at school and was taking the advanced classes and I just, I was always getting praised for being smart and I like held on to that and even though I am a very creative and artistic person, I never got the recognition for that side of my life that I wanted. So I just went with the direction of what felt like was the right way to go because that's where I was getting the most success and praise and positive reinforcement was for my achievements in academics. I was just naturally good at like science and math so I was like let me just go be a doctor. Despite the fact that I went to a performing arts high school I never felt like I was good enough to be a musician which is what I wanted to be. I was always good at 
the school part of it and I felt inadequate in the music part of it so I was like okay doctor because everyone is gonna love the fact that I'm a doctor like can you imagine that my mom will be able to say like yeah my daughter's a doctor I wanted to be a physician's assistant to be specific but those were my thought processes which was kind of fucked up you should never really move in that way but we'll get there that was my thought process so of course I'm living my life for everyone else except for China and wondering why I'm not happy. So through journaling and you know, really digging deep and figuring out what the heck I want, I was able to realize that. And I thought at that time I was fixed. I, you know, figured out the issue. I'm fine now. I, I didn't really change anything. Um, I still <laughs> pursued my degree because at this point I was a sophomore and I was like, oh, I'm not starting all the way over now. I'm already halfway done, might as well finish bad idea but i did that and i continued to kind of just numb myself i was smoking a lot of weed drinking a lot um partying a lot not really trying to fix the issue just brushing it under the rug pretty much which of course never works it's always going to come back up and it did fast forward three years later or four years later it's 2016 i had graduated from college in 2015 and at this point i'm living with my boyfriend who was now my husband and he's in the navy if you guys didn't know so he's gone a lot and that was the first time in my life that i was actually alone for those of you that don't know i come from a pretty big family i'm the oldest of four children and then i also had um a few step siblings that lived with us at the time so there was at least like six people in my house at all times so I was never really alone and then when I went to college I always had roommates and then I moved in with my boyfriend but then he got deployed and so I was really just by myself and that was terrifying. I'm a Capricorn so I do like to be alone but I was never really alone like I would just be in my room but I was never there was always someone around. Everything started coming back and I started feeling depressed again even though I had felt like I was getting better because I had numbed everything and everything was kind of going well. I never solved the root issue so of course those feelings are going to keep coming back up so that was kind of the beginning of my spiritual journey i stumbled across a lot of spiritual youtubers who were talking about the law of attraction and things like that and i really resonated with that i found the book the secret and i was like wow i found the answer i got really into spirituality i still am a very spiritual person but it was very kind of like toxic positivity spirituality and i thought that all i had to do was write down what i wanted and think happy thoughts and then everything will be solved and that's not how it works i had to learn about like shadow work and really digging deep and that's kind of what i want to talk about a little bit with you guys today the main thing that i learned during that time was how powerful your thoughts are and how your thoughts really create your reality and so i really want to share that with you guys today sorry long intro but we're finally here your thoughts are really everything. The way you think about yourself, the way you think about anything in your life, the beliefs that you have, all contribute immensely to how you move in your reality. If you don't think you're capable of doing something, you're not gonna do it. And if you do, then you are. I really wanted to figure out how to change my mind. And that's where meditation came in for me. I started realizing that when you sit down and you're just quiet and you just listen, you're able to really hear the thoughts that you have. And that's what meditation is. For those of you who don't know, meditating is not trying to silence your mind or sit in silence and only think positive thoughts. That's not what it's for. It's really to bring awareness and observe what is going on in my brain. Why? Am I thinking this? But in the moment of meditation, you're not judging these thoughts. So I I was able to really observe my thoughts and hear the limiting beliefs that I had, the feelings of unworthiness and like I didn't deserve certain things. I realized that I was in a victim mentality. I was thinking, why me? And not thinking in a progressive way of 
being curious about why I'm thinking these thoughts. It was more so like, oh, well, I'll never have that or oh, I, I can never get that or I can never do that. It was always just what I couldn't do. I was focusing on what could go wrong and what I wasn't capable of instead of focusing on what I can do and what can go right. And that's where my next point comes in. I wanna talk about the importance of reprogramming your mind. Meditation helped me do this so much. I talk about meditation all the time on my channel because I'm such a huge advocate for it because it's changed my life, literally has changed my life. And now I'm at a point where I meditate at least twice a day because I'm so determined to change the thoughts that have been programmed into my brain. So science tells us that we decide who we are by the time we are seven years old. Most of those thoughts that are put into our brains by the time we're seven are not ours. We're listening to what people are telling us. We're listening to the praise that we get from our friends, from our family, from the judgment that we get from our friends, from our families, from our teachers. And we're taking these on as if these are facts about who we are instead of deciding who we are. We get to choose that, not everybody else around us. And meditation really helped me understand this concept that the limiting beliefs and the thoughts that I had that I was observing during my early stages of meditation were not necessarily mine. They were just things I had heard or things I had seen in all aspects of my life, whether it's just improving myself, money, uh, relationships. We're being programmed from TV and music and people around us um, to believe a certain thought and those beliefs turn into what we see in our lives, into our physical reality. So if you're thinking all these limiting beliefs and you have all these programmed thoughts from when you were seven, you're gonna still see the patterns of these things play out in your life and you're trying to change but you don't know why you can't you don't know why you don't have motivation to be and do the things that you really want to do it's because you have these subconscious thoughts these thoughts that are in the back of your mind that you're not necessarily consciously thinking about they're just they live there and they're always there and they're always telling you they're always whispering in your ear like no you can't are you sure last time it didn't go that way and so that's where meditation came in for me is to really just observe those and then i was able to start changing them the big thing for me was affirmations and still is affirmations i know people don't really love affirmations especially at first because it sounds silly when you're trying to tell yourself things that you don't believe it's not gonna stick your subconscious thoughts are gonna come up and they're gonna be like no that's not true and it's gonna start trying to give you evidence of where your new beliefs are not correct and the old beliefs are still true even though they're not true you believe them so it's going to show up in your reality for example if you're trying to manifest or create a reality of abundance but you have a mentality of lack and you're gonna sit there and try to meditate and affirm to yourself that i am rich and i am abundant and i am wealthy but you have bills that are past due and your bank account is in the negatives there's that huge contrast there that's gonna keep existing it's gonna keep showing up over and over and over again and that's where the work really comes in the deep work of challenging those thoughts it really boils down to just training your mind you have to be persistent you have to be consistent with putting these new thoughts into your mind you can do it while you're sleeping and i'll link some of the affirmation channels that i love down below if you guys want to check it out but really telling yourself new things telling yourself different thoughts catching yourself thinking the old thought and replacing it with no that might have been true in the past, but that's not true for me now. But it is a practice and it does take work, a lot of work, and it's hard work, it's not easy. But this is, you guys, I'm really so passionate about this. This is really what 
transformed everything for me. And again, I don't live a perfect life, but I'm not depressed anymore. I don't have depressive thoughts. I go through cycles where I feel myself getting into the depression again, but I'm able to combat it and to lift myself up. Of course, that may not be the case for every single person. You know, some people might need medication and other things like that. But if you're someone like me who really wants to just take your power back and feel in control of your life again, this is what helped me. Really doing the work, journaling, meditating, and putting new thoughts in place of those limiting beliefs getting in the way of those thoughts and saying nope this is the new thought I wake up and the first thing I do is practice gratitude focusing on the things that I'm grateful for focusing on the things in my life that are going well the things that I'm happy about instead of focusing on the things that I hate and the things that I wanna change and the things that I don't like. Taking the time to be thankful for even just the smallest of things really helps reprogram your mind. Embody it, act like you already are there. Act like you already live like the person you see yourself as. What actions are they taking? What thoughts do they have? What are they doing when they wake up? What's their morning routine like? What's their night routine like? What's the work day like? You know, putting yourself there, practicing that is what's gonna get you to where you wanna be. I promise you, I've lived it, I've breathed it. I'm a Capricorn, I am all about the facts. I don't like to take advice from people who I can't relate to because they haven't been in my shoes. I've been in your shoes you guys trust me I've been there I've been down I've been out I've been I've hit rock bottom recently it's on my channel you can watch the video if you want to like I said I'm not perfect I still go through these things and it it's a lifetime of work but it gets easier the more you do it and then eventually it becomes your default these thoughts become the natural thoughts that you have It is very challenging and it is very difficult and it's scary at first because it brings up a lot and then you'll start seeing all the shitty things in your reality because those thoughts become so strong. It's going to be hard and you're going to want to give up and you're going to shed a lot of tears but it is the shadow work. You have to confront that dark part of you, the shadow self, the parts of you that you want to just push away, that you don't want to talk about, that you don't want to think about. You have to confront it because you'll never get through it. You're always just going to keep being in the cycle of hating your life and I don't hate my life anymore I used to I fucking love my life not perfect okay but I love it I don't want to be anyone else but me I love myself I have a lot of flaws and a lot of things I want to change but I love who I am and I'm so happy to be able to sit here and say that to you guys because there have been times where I've thought about you know um I don't want to say it, but I'll put it on the screen here. There have been times where I've been that low, where I've thought, is life even worth living? Do I even need to be here? This shit is too hard. But meditating has gotten me closer to God. That's how I pray. That's the time that I used to talk to God, to thank God, to listen to what God has to say to me, to gain clarity, to hear my thoughts and see what work I need to do. And daily, I'm practicing affirmations. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm high-fiving myself in the morning and saying, you go girl, you got this. Look how hot you are, look how sexy you are, look how beautiful you are, look how rich you are. I'm telling myself these things, even if I don't always feel that way, especially in the morning, I don't look sexy in the morning, are you kidding me? <laughs> I look crazy, but I have to say this because this is what I wanna embody. You'll start manifesting things and people into your life that you never thought possible. I never saw my life going the way it has, but I wouldn't change my life at all for anything. I love my life, I can't stress it enough. <laughs> And I want that for you guys too. This video is almost 30 minutes long, so I wanna kinda just get into this last portion of what it takes, or at least what it took for me to change my mind. And this is the part that I think is the hardest. I'm still working on this. It's so crucial that you learn to reparent yourself. And I'll put some really great um, videos that have inspired me over the years with this topic. The way that I love to try to change my thoughts is to think of myself as if I was my own child. I don't have kids, so of course it's, you know, 
not gonna be 100% accurate for me, but this is just if I did have a child, what I would choose to say to my kid. For example, I used to struggle with binge eating disorder. It was a struggle for me for a long time. I had a lot of issues with self-worth and body image because of thoughts that I, and things that I've thought about myself from being a teenager or a young child who was overweight and I'm still overweight today but I love my body like I love who I am I don't want to harm my body I don't want to numb myself anymore and I think it's because I take the time to talk to myself as if I was a little kid again I imagine what I would say to my child if my child were going through these things if my child was gonna say I hate my life and I want to eat this junk food I want to sit here and eat this whole box of pizza what would I say and you can use this in any experience that you might have anything that you're struggling with give yourself grace you guys talk to yourself as if you're talking to your inner child you're talking to a little kid you're not gonna be like you're so fat look at you you hate yourself you know most most loving parents will not say that to their kid most parents want what's best for their kid and you should want what's best for yourself as a person who again was very dependent on external validation and i kind of still am honestly from people that i care about at least before i used to just want anyone's validation i i I was getting praised a lot for being a good student, for excelling in school. Once I got out of school, I wasn't getting that. I wasn't getting that external validation that I needed. That was hard to navigate, and especially in the times that we live in now where it's all about external validation with social media, how many likes do you get, what, how many views is your video getting, how many comments, and you know, all that. It's so hard to combat that. I'm learning, still learning, and I've I've gotten a lot of tools o along the way how to celebrate myself and have that be enough. Pretending like I'm cheering on my inner child and I'm so proud of myself for doing that. It really came with taking responsibility for my life and learning that at the end of the day, all we really have is ourselves. We come into this world alone and we're going out alone. It's a harsh reality, but no one's coming to save you. Like you have to do the work. You have to do what it's gonna take to get the life that you want. And it really starts with what's up here. This deep work, this spiritual work, this inner work is probably the most important work that you'll ever do in your life. And that's why I think I want my channel to really focus on this because I, I have a lot of insight here and I hope what I'm saying is making sense. Owning the fact that you're responsible for your life. Yes, you have trauma probably. You've had circumstances and shit that happened to you in the past that probably sucked. Trust me, I have too. I have a lot of trauma. I have been through really shitty experiences, but no one's gonna feel bad for me. No one cares about that. Like, I'm not special, you know? Everybody has their shit. It's up to you to decide whether you're gonna let that stop you or whether you're gonna use that as fuel and your motivation to be your best self and be who you know you can be. Hold yourself accountable. Be a parent to yourself. You're not gonna let your kid destroy their life. You're not gonna let your kid waste their life while they're in your care. You're gonna want what's best for them. You're gonna want them to eat healthy. You're gonna want them to be in sports or be active. And you're gonna want them to take care of their mental health. All these things, the things that you would do for your future or your current children, that's how you should treat yourself. With grace, with love, with patience, a lot of patience. So I think that's all I wanted to say. I didn't go as long as I thought I would, so that's good. Hopefully this video isn't too long. And hopefully you guys got something out of it. This is the stuff I'm really passionate about, you guys. I really changed my life so much over the past, like, six years. And I'm so proud of where I'm at. I know I'm gonna go so far, and I want everyone who watches my videos, if you're a person like me who has been, or if you're currently still in a place where you're not feeling fulfilled, you're not satisfied with your life, you're not happy with your direction, direction or lack thereof, feeling lost. These videos are for you and I want everyone to live their best life and I want everyone to know the power that we hold as human beings created in the eyes of God. We have the power of God living within us. Whatever resonates with you, you can interchange it for the word God, but I say God because that resonates with me. We have that power within us 
Um, and God is always with us. I don't believe we're here to struggle. I don't believe we're here to hate our lives and feel like a victim of our circumstances. I like to look at myself as like an alchemist who's using that as a fuel to change and to create the life of my dreams. And I just want to hone in on the topic of like uh, the fact that like I'm not perfect you guys like I don't have it all together but I've come so far and I know that these tips that I've given you in this video work because they've worked for me and I'm living breathing proof that you can overcome the depression and anything anything holding you back in this life you can overcome it you have the power within you and it really starts with changing your mind and changing your thoughts and deciding for me i just was tired of being a sad bitch <laughs> honestly i was tired of hating my life i was tired of waking up and smoking weed and sitting in bed all day and eating junk food and not doing anything. I was sick of that. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel because this is the direction that my channel is going to go in. Of course, I'm gonna be posting my vlogs, but I want my main content to be content that just inspires people to take control and create the life that we're meant to live because we can have it all you guys we really can so i hope this was helpful if it was give this video a thumbs up for me i love you guys so much thank you for watching and as always i'll see you next time with another video peace